what's going on you guys it's your boy the SWT I to the biggie here once again with another video and this is my results video for NXT TakeOver that has just finished just here on the WWE Network it is currently 3.30 in the morning here in the UK I'm ready for bed but what the hell I thought I'd do this results video for you now get edited and get out there for you guys so you've got something to watch so yeah First one of the night was No Way Jose versus Austin Aries. Now, this match, as you would would have thought, was dominated by Austin Aries. Um, no Way Jose had his moments. Um, it was a decent match. It wasn't the greatest of matches, to be honest with you. Um, as I said, Austin Aries dominated it, got the win, as I predicted. Um, at the end, he carried on attacking No Way Jose, which then a day or Tommy's music hit and day or Tommy hit the ring and basically um, warded off um, Austin Erez so it looks like the angle they're going for is Austin Erez versus um Austin Aries versus Adeo Tommy going forward in NXT, um, which should be to be honest should be a really really good matchup so let's quickly move on people the next one is Ember Moon versus Billy Kay. Um, this one was a really good matchup. Um, Ember Moon has some great variety of moves. Um, it actually was a pretty decent matchup. It, you know, I would recommend you go out and see this match if you can. Um, Ember Moon, the way she finished the match was absolutely amazing. Um, she done a dive off the top rope into a corkscrew kind of, then followed up into the stunner. Um, it looked absolutely amazing. So yeah, Ember Moon got the win, and I predict big things to come from Ember Moon. Let's move on, people. So this one is the glorious Bobby Roode versus Andrea Almas. Um, Almas, I'm not really too impressed with. I'm not overly hyped on Almas, as you guys know. Um, I think he gave a better account of himself this time around than he did at the last TakeOver. Um, it was Bobby Roode's first in-ring match on NXT, so as you would guess, Bobby Roode got the win. Um, it was an alright match. It wasn't nothing amazing. Um, Almas, did, as I said, did give a better account of himself. And Bobby Roode got the win. Let's move on, people. Revival versus Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano um, and this match was absolutely amazing this match was absolutely off the hook it was back and forwards um, there was times when you thought that Johnny Gargano and Ciampa was going to get the win and the Revival would make the save and vice versa and they cut off the ring the Revival, you know, I've said this in previous videos, the Revival do everything well. I feel they're going to go places um, within the, the WWE, even after they get a call up. Um, they came close to Gargano and Ciampa to get the win. Um, they had the match won, but the other member of the Revival put their foot on the rope just as the free count hit, and then obviously the Revival took back over and got the win. So the Revival retained, and let's move on, people. So next we had the NXT Women's Championship match, Bailey versus Asuka. Um, again, this match was really, really solid. Um, both people, uh, both Asuka and Bailey, got a great reception from the crowd. Um, it was a great uh, match backwards and forwards. It was mainly Asuka dominating, as you would expect. Um, Bailey did have her moments. Um, she wouldn't tap out to the Asuka lock. She kept on escaping it, um, and then. Bailey took a big kick to the head by Asuka, which she, she didn't go down from. She replied by standing up straight and hit firing back with a vicious slap to the, um, Asuka's face, which then resulted in Bailey taking another kick to the head. And while she was on her knees, she took another kick to the head um, for Asuka to get the one, two, three, and Asuka retained. Now, after this match, as I said, this did feel like to me it was Bailey's swan song, and it definitely was portrayed that way. Becky was ringside with Sasha, Charlotte was on the other side of the ring, ringside, um, Becky, um, Becky and Sasha embraced Bailey at the end, Bailey then went and embraced um, Charlotte, then Bailey went and embraced her mum and then Bailey went and embraced one of her fans that is always there, the little girl with the title, um, and it did feel like it was just basically Bailey's goodbye swan song to NXT. Um, they started the crowd started seeing thank you Bailey afterwards, and and that's how it really felt. It was just like a great matchup for for Bailey to say goodbyes before moving on to bigger and better things on the main roster. 
So last but not least, we had Samoa Joe versus Shinsei Nakamura for the NXT Championship. Now this match, I said that they would kick seven layers of shit out of each other, and they did just that. They kicked absolutely seven layers of shit out of each other early. To be honest, Samoa Joe dominated pretty much most of the match. Um, pretty much all of it, to be honest. He, he absolutely, it was like every now and then, since they would come off with a big kick and a big moment, but it was just dominated by Samoa Joe with ground and pound, putting him in arm bars and whatnot. And there was a section where he went for a power bomb, then he turned it into a Boston Crab, and then turned it into SDFU. Um, so yeah, it was Samoa Joe and just dominating pretty much most of the match. Um, he went for a muscle buster, which he hit. Um, since Nakamura kicked out, Nakamura then hit him with the big knee that then Samoa Joe kicked out of. Then um, Nakamura set him up for the big knee again and got the one, two, three. And since Nakamura, as I predicted, is your new NXT champion. Um, I don't feel he's going to be the champion for long. I think he might just run to the next NXT TakeOver event um, because I think, as I said, I think he's ready for his main call up as well. So, yeah, guys, that was your NXT TakeOver results video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you're new, guys, hit that subscribe button. As always, I'll be back with more videos soon. And this was your boy, F-O-O-T-I to the big E. I am now off to quickly edit this for you guys to get out there. And I'm going to bed, people, because I am absolutely shattered. It is 3 30 in the morning, as I said. And I am done. And, guys, if you haven't seen... Um, take over yet and this is the only way you're watching it i hope you got what you've wanted from this video and yeah this is your boy f double to the big e remember to like share subscribe all that lovely stuff that you do keep on enjoying your summer slam weekend and my heavy bless people peace